I don't think I've ever run with a water bottle in my pocket. But yeah, I've got two phones in here, one GoPro, three gels, a car key and some credit cards. And we can actually move. Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Welcome to a nice sunny day near Farnham, right on the Surrey-Hampshire border here. In fact, Hampshire's just up there. Now, what I've thought to do today is a bit of a shorts off instead of a shoe off. Now, hopefully I won't be actually showing the shorts off because I've not been able to run too far. I thought this might be better. So quite often when you go for a run, you want to take all sorts of stuff with you, like your, your phone, some gels, some credit cards, your car key, maybe even some water. So I thought, well, all the shorts I've got, which ones are actually best for that? So I thought I'd load up different shorts with all this stuff and see which ones actually work best running in, see if I can actually run in them. Now, all this shorts are stuff that I've actually bought myself over the years. I haven't been sent any of this stuff. So there's no sore and there's no Say Sky stuff because they only seem to get sent to YouTubers for freebies, don't they? So yeah, this is mainly Nike stuff. This is Ron Hill stuff and a bit of Gore running stuff. Those are the free brands that I've been using most over the years maybe if you recommend some other shorts i'll try them out another time but anyway let's go and have a look what i want to try and then we'll get into these shorts literally and see how we go so here we go i've got the vermero 16s on today to do the run and this is the sort of stuff i thought we might want to take with us so i've got a gopro i'm actually using another gopro here i've got two phones where well, there's an iphone 11 and an iphone se which is a bit smaller they're both in quad lock cases found them quite useful and i've got three morton gels i've got my car key there and i've got some credit cards just three in a little bag which i often use an old bmc membership card there an old national trust card and a starbucks card ones that if i lose them not the end of the world and here is my bag of kit okay the first one's up on my favorite sort of sh uh, shorts from recent times so these are the ron hill infinity marathon shorts which i think are all obsolete but you can possibly pick them up in odd places so if you go turn over the back here You've got a huge stash pocket for like your phone and stuff and down the sides you've got a little stash pocket that's very handy for the key another one there which is also handy for sort of credit cards and stuff like that and you've got the same again on the other side and you've also got these little sort of gel holders as well so i've actually got another pair of these on so let's see how i put all my stuff in so my phone can go in the big pocket at the back my car key can go down the side pocket here and the credit cards these can go on the top little pocket there now with gels we can probably put them down the other side here let's put one down there you also put them on the little side pocket there so i've got one in there one in there and then another one we can just have on the little clip here I don't really like them there quite so much they feel a bit flappy right what else we've we got so one more gopro so i'm gonna need to carry a gopro to actually film so this is the one i'm filming i'm gonna film and then where are I going to put this one? Well, I can probably put it in the back with my phone as well, if that will fit. I've actually done this before. Do these shorts up. Now, the one thing we haven't managed to get in is the water, and I don't think oh, that's going to really going to work because that is going to be too heavy. But I do have possibly another pair of shorts later that might just work for that. Okay, so here I am at the Hampshire border sign in the Ron Hill Infinity Marathon shorts, laid it up with a GoPro, a phone, three gels car key and some credit cards and see if I can actually now run. And I'm going to be carrying the GoPro as well, a second GoPro, another one's in the pocket, but simulating how it would be if I just want to pull one out during the run. And we're off. It does feel quite heavily laden because I've got a GoPro and a phone in the back pocket, but it's not too bad actually. You can actually run and it's not, they're not really flapping about. This is why I kind of like these ones so much because uh, they do actually work and obviously normally I don't carry GoPro and the phone in the back pocket it's normally just the phone and this GoPro is obviously I'm holding that now the sort of the credit cards and the gels can't really feel them at all anyway it's nice little lay in this okay run done that's 0.7 of a mile yeah, they felt okay. Felt a bit baggy with those uh, the GoPro and the phone in the back, but uh, I certainly feel like I could run with them, and I have done before. So, took in the box for them, but obviously they're uh, discontinued shorts. So, let's pick another short that actually you can buy and see how they compare. 
So next up, we've got these Nike three quarter length tights. And I've also got a Nike trail top here as well with a little pocket in the back. So we'll see if we can utilize that, this one as well. Now, even though these are three quarter length tights, they're meant to go uh, below your knee. I'm so tall that they don't actually fit over my, over my knee. So they're more like half tights for me. But these ones have got a nice sort of phone pocket at the back and a couple of pockets here. And I think these are more just for straps. I'm not sure we can get anything in them. So I'll get these ones on and see if I can load up my uh, stuff with them. And then maybe we can put some stuff in there as well. Okay, so we've got the Nike three quarter length tights on, which only come up to my knee. So they're, uh, if you're tall, then uh, they're better as half tights. But anyway, see what we can get in here. So I'll get my big phone in, the iPhone 11 in the back. That's no problem. And then we can get a car key in the little side pocket here and we can probably get our credit cards in the same pocket as well and then probably on the other side should be able to fit a couple of gels in i think yeah they fit in nice it's, there's one in let's see if we can get a few more in certainly get two in there and can i get three in yeah i can get three in if i wanted to there it's not too bad I might be able to get my GoPro into this as well. Okay, so I have managed to get the GoPro and the phone in here. It's quite difficult to zip up this back pocket, I find. It's almost sort of a little a cord sort of string, but it's a bit like counterintuitive. What I suppose we could try is actually putting a gel in this back shirt pocket, see if that works. Well, it's sort of in, but you kind of feel it's going to fall out any minute. So it's kind of like a weird pocket. Maybe it's better for the credit cards. But then if you put credit cards in a pocket like that, you're going to worry they're going to fall out, aren't you? So you really want to put something in there, maybe just like a sort of a, a tissue or something like that, or just a bit of cloth that you, you don't mind really losing. But <laughs> otherwise, you kind of think, well, maybe you, you could put a safety pin on it, but it's going to be a bit odd. I don't know if you, even, you can try running with it. Let's see if we can have a go running anyway. Okay, we've got the Nike Trail kit on the top and shorts here, my three quarter length ones, which only go up to a half. So uh, yeah, instantly I've had to pull in the drawstring quite a lot because I think I've got too much in the back pocket now, but we'll see how we go with this. Uh, I think I'm not gonna get too far running like this because I've already run about hundred yards down there and had to turn back and tie my shorts up because there was just too much in the back pocket. But let's see how we go. And this gel on the back uh, in my sh in my t-shirt feels a bit odd as well. Right, I'm not sure that the uh, gel in the the t-shirt is working that well because this is flapping all on all over the place. But having tied up the shorts, I, now I don't feel that the phone and the GoPro in the back pocket are wobbling around at all. But you clearly need to tie them down quite a lot. Nice little track we're going down here. I actually need to do this one for city strides. So. Uh, Killing two birds with one stone essentially by testing shorts and running down trails. I'm quite sure why this one's a road because it's more like a track, but anyway, one that we can take off. Right, we'll see at the other end. Okay, so we're coming on the St. Swithin's Way, just over half a mile, and then we're on back. It's not too bad, actually. Not feeling too much fluffing about from the GoPro and the phone in the back pocket, so they're holding up okay. We've got three gels in this back uh, side pocket here, and credit cards and car key. Here, obviously, I'm not carrying the GoPro. Obviously, can't carry any water, but uh, I never really like doing that anyway. We've got another pair of shorts, so we may be able to do that in. Right, let's run back now and report back when we get there. I was going to say that the gel in the t-shirt back pocket is actually still there. It feels like it's flapping around a bit. So we've only actually got two gels in the side pocket because I put one in the in the t-shirt. But yeah, if you're really stuck, then it'll kind of work. I think what I'd probably do is use some sort of safety pin to tie up the hole. And then obviously then you have to take the t-shirt to put it out. But yeah, for emergency extra storage, it's an A option. Uh, I've got some other t-shirts with better pockets than that, shall we say. Okay, back from the run down the St. Susan's Way, a little trail. That's another road I've ticked off hopefully for City Strides. So yeah, the uh, trail shorts did okay there. Yeah, so I kind of like these ones, nice and light. 
and uh, the pockets worked fairly well and got everything in, same as the Ron Hill ones. In a way, perhaps a bit more hugging on the leg. They do, um, they do sort of then feel perhaps more of a, sort of a, a mileish day when uh, you want to cover a bit more of the leg. And it's just a bit annoying that uh, they kind of stop just above the knee rather than just below the knee. But needs must when you're as tall as me. Right, let's try the next pair of ones then. Okay, so if you like a short short, this is perhaps the best one I've found. This is another Ron Hill one. I heard of it an incident there, but I've uh, run into something there and got a hole in it. But I do have another pair. So these are the Ron Hill, I think they're trail uh, cargo racers or something. I have to put the right title up, up of above. But if you turn them over, they've got a nice big pocket like in the Infinity Marathon shorts with a little secret pocket there. And you've got these two little stash pockets here for gel. So I think although these are um, obviously not um, half tights or anything, hopefully you're going to get a, a decent amount of um, storage in there. So let's get these on and have a look. And as we're on the Ron Hill theme, I thought we'd bring out a Ron Hill top with some pockets in. So we've got a nice little sort of... Um, pocket here just on the front which you can put sort of credit cards in I think maybe a gels let's see or your key we turn it over and then we've got nine two nice little stash pockets on the back here and one with a zip and one without zip so we'll put that one on as well see how we go with that definitely more pockets than in the Nike one this is one you can still buy and in different colors as well okay so now I've got the Ron Hill uh, trail cargo racer shorts on as you can see nice short shorts so I think I'll put the car key, I could put it in the little secret pocket in the big stash pocket, but I think I'll put it in the side pocket because I'll see if I can get my phone and my GoPro in. So let's see if we get the phone in the back pocket. This is the big phone, yeah, that goes in okay. And then I think the, I put that's one not gel in the stash pocket to sort of weigh down the key a bit. And then we can probably get the credit cards in the other side. Now I'm kind of struggling there with to get the credit card in, so I'll have to put that maybe in my shirt pocket. Let's see if we can get these gels in here. Certainly get two gels in that. Now can we again and get my other GoPro in the base back pocket? This is gonna be hell and hard to run. <laughs> yeah, it does fit. Let's see if we can zip it up. We still haven't found room for our credit cards. What we can do though is put the credit cards in this top pocket, I think. Oh yeah, they do fit in there, nice and secure. And I've still got the two pockets at the back, so I could put a gel in one of the pockets in the top. Go in fine like that there, or on the other side, no problems at all. And the only problem now is to see what can actually run. So let's leave one there. Zip that one up. There we go. Right. It does have quite a lot of drawstring on here, so I think we're gonna to need to tie this up pretty tight. And maybe I won't run so far on this one. But yeah, I can get that quite nice and tight, actually. There we go. Right, and all set to run, cool. Okay, one advantage of this location is that you can actually go in four different ways. So I'll go that way now and see, um, we'll see what's up that way and see if I can actually hold these shorts up. They do feel quite nice and tight now, but um, yeah, obviously not skin hugging because they're short shorts. Okay, half hour done in the tra uh, trail racer short, something like that, I have to get the exact name up there. But yeah, they're not too bad. I mean, considering they're a sort of like a lightweight short short style, old style vibe short, I think it'd be ideal for like a, a nice long training run in the summer or if you wanted even the race, which you can certainly get a key in, a couple of credit cards, a couple of jails, no problem. And even if you, a phone as well, because that huge pocket at the back, I've actually got my GoPro Hero 8 on a selfie stick and the iPhone 11 on there, which is quite a lot of weight. It's about 400 grams at least, which is far more than you're likely to be, uh, most people wanting to use, aren't you? So yeah, definitely ticking the box for these ones. I mean, obviously you're a bit sort of bobbing up and down here, but you can tie the drawstring quite a lot and it's kind of runnable i mean i wouldn't want to run too far like this but um if needs must and you really had to for sure but yeah for, certainly for just a phone in there and uh, some gels and a key it'd be great okay next one up is the nike dry fit flex stride uh, shorts here these are another nike trail offering so these have got a load of pockets in if we start at the back we've got a nice stash pocket at the back very similar to the three quarter length tights we've got a couple of little nice little pockets there and we've also got a couple of little holders here and we've also got some side pockets uh, that you can just sort of put things in. Although the side pockets are kind of like, you, know, you think, what's the point of them? Because they you can't really put too much in there. Maybe just like the old tissue or something like that. Otherwise it's just gonna flap around all over the place. But, um, and then let's get these on and see how we go. There's also a nice little 
uh, secret pocket there at the back for maybe that could do for my car key. Okay, so now we're in our matching Nike Dry Fit Flex Stride shorts and the Nike Dry Fit Rise 365 top with a funny pocket at the back. Now, let's see where I can put the stuff in here. And that's maybe the credit cards are back good for the side pocket here because they're not going to be too heavy, are they? So let's bung them in there. Let's get the phone in the back. That's the only obvious place for that. Now, I think the phone could be a problem. Maybe we have to tie these up tight enough. Right, the car key. I think I'll put that in the little pocket around here with a little flap on a bit of security to it. And then the gels, it looks like the gels kind of fit in here, but they're not, they're going to be too loose there, too loose there. And this one I'm sort of struggling to put in. I'll see if I have another go. You feel like I'm going to sort of almost snap it. So I'm not quite sure if they're really designed for gels or not. Yeah, I'm kind of struggling there really. So I'm not quite sure what's the point of that one. Let me have another go. I feel like I'm going to pop this gel packet. Well, I have eventually got it in, but I'm not sure there's going to be too much gel left of that when uh, I come to use that. I might have to eat that gel actually before I go home. Right, what else can I get in? So that's, I mean, not really liking that gel. Let's see if I can put it in the side pocket around this way. And don't forget, I put another gel, didn't I, in the back of my top. So let's do that again. I don't think it's really ideal in the back of this shirt, but anyway. Maybe it would be better for credit cards, but I'm worried about them falling out. So this one I'm kind of a bit worried about now because I think this is going to be a bit flappy. Um, certainly it's not going to work in the... You could put it in the side pocket, but I think it's just going to be too flappy to run with. You can feel like it's going to be flapping all over the place, so that's not really going to work. It fits in there, but you know, in terms of running, you know, it's just... I mean, maybe if you're wearing this underneath tights and it would work, but just normal it's not going to work at all so let's see if I can put it in the back pocket and it's the same size as the other shorts I was wearing a minute ago so I think they'll fit in right we've got them closed now we need to get some uh, fairly tight here right let's see if we can actually run in these <laughs> right I do feel rather precarious but we're running here I'm currently in Surrey about 10 yards that way we'll be into Hampshire so let's give it a go Oh, it's not too bad actually. These trail shorts are better than I thought. I think the secret is to make sure you get the drawstring really tight and so things not flapping around. Because uh, a nice thin runner, then yeah, you don't want shorts too baggy. But yeah, I'm quite impressed with these. They're quite like, like sort of airy on the legs. So um, you don't get the sort of the compression feeling from the half tights, but certainly for a summer run, quite nice. All right, let's go up here for a bit. Okay, nearly half a mile done in these trail shorts here. Yeah, they work pretty well. And as I said, the secret is to keep them the drawstring tight. Okay, so that's the fourth pair of shorts in a row that I've managed to get all the things in by the water. So we'll have to see whether we get some shorts that I can put them in as well. Just to say with the gel here, I don't think it's really a viable option. I seem to have almost frayed it a bit there. So I don't think I really want to put any more in there. Look at all that material cotton coming out there. I don't know what quite the point of that is, actually. Maybe that's to tie around some sort of top around it, maybe. I'm not sure. So next up, I just wanted to mention these Nike Aeroswift shorts. Now these are nice shorts that are good for sort of racing and stuff, but they've got very poor sort of pockets. They've only got like four little pockets here. They're basically only good for to put like keys in. Maybe you could get a gel in just about, but they certainly couldn't get your phone in. But Nike have actually introduced a new version of this here. I don't know if you can see that on my phone. I've just ordered a pair of these, not from Nike because I didn't have my size in, but um, in this sort of purpley colour here. But they actually have a phone holder at the back. I don't want to say I'm advertising Nike there, but you see that little phone holder at the back there? So um, yeah, I'll have to give those a go when they come in. Okay, so that could be a good option when you just want to go for a fast run and maybe take your phone with you and a car key. But yeah, I kind of like these shorts, but at the moment they're kind of restricted in how I can use them. So I also wanted to mention another pair of Nike shorts here. These are the Nike Dry Fit Stride shorts. Not a bad short, but they've got side pockets here with no zip, so they're kind of useless, really, um, apart from just maybe putting a bit of sort of tissue in. I think I'll be worried about putting my credit cards in, but maybe you could put like a safety pin there to tie them down. And they do have a pocket at the back, but it's a very thin pocket. You just about get your phone in, 
and there's another little secret pocket here for your car key but they're restricted this one if I just show you to try and get my phone in that one how difficult it is in fact I'm looking at a purple version of the shorts here so if we try and put my phone in there I don't think I could do it one-handed okay let's see if we can get the iPhone 11 into here just about fits but yeah as you can see it's quite a tight squeeze can we do up the zip you can imagine this is quite difficult when you're actually out running but uh, there we go we've managed to get them in I won't actually do a demonstration on this one because uh, <laughs> I've got some other shorts to go just have another look at some other shorts here these are an obsolete pair of Ron Hill trail cargo shorts I'm not quite sure the exact name I've got my phone in there no problem and you've got some nice gel holders here as well but they're quite a nice baggy sort of two-in-one type short so they offer me a good option in the times that I want to try something else and you've got a couple of little holders there I don't think those gel holders work very well though do they as I saw there but I think they do work if you're really desperate but I'd prefer to put them in a pocket if I can now this is some gore running wear stuff I really just like this stuff you can see one of the problems now with um this is an obsolete pair of tops and shorts. We can see the nice little po uh, pockets here in the back. These are the Gore X Run tops. I think this is like the original one and this was a, a later one. But you see they've got like zip there and two drop pockets. One's a slightly sort of nylon -y material, one's a bit more sort of cottony. But these are the shorts version, like two in one shorts of it. But the problem is that the iPhone 11 just doesn't fit. You can get the iPhone SE in just about. And they've only got like basically sort of clips for gel so although it's a two-in-one short it's kind of like you can see why i didn't actually um really get into my rotation too often in terms of shorts but if i want a lot of compression um then these aren't bad but in terms of storage useless really okay so we'll save the most loudest shorts till last with the most amount of pockets in these are the nike x Guyatsku, can't even pronounce it. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get slated in the comments. Maybe I have to come back and see that. But they, they've got like even a pocket here to put in like a, a long sleeve top. And there's pockets there, there. And if we turn it over, we've got another pockets there and there. Have I missed any? So let's get these on and see what we get in there. I might even be able to get my drinks into here. I guess I did miss some pockets here. There's actually some pockets in inside the pockets. <laughs> so, <laughs> is there any more on this side? I don't think there's any on that side as well. No. Okay, I've got these shorts on. I think Mrs. G would say that these shorts should be illegal. But so anyway, we'll illustrate the point of how much stuff we can actually get in here. So let's try the phone. We could actually put the phone in there, or I think we could put it at the back. Let's see which is best. Yeah, perhaps at the back at the best. It could go in there as well. I could put my water bottle in here as well. This is actually the only one that we can actually put our water bottle in. Could I actually zip that up? And I can actually zip that up with my water bottle. Right, let's get in my GoPro. Again, that could go, uh, I could put that in the back there. That fits in there like that. And we could get another phone in this pocket. And here we can put our car key in. Uh, let's put the gels in. Let's see where we want to go with these. Let's put those in there. Hide them out of the way. And let's put the gels in there as well. And we've got a water bottle on the other side. And we can put our car key in this one. There's actually two pockets here. Let's see if this fits. I'm not sure I'm gonna actually be able to run in this, but you can illustrate how much potential you could get in here. This is not the best of pockets, this one. Does this go in? Here we go, just about goes in. Keeps it out of the way. And if we zip that up, we've got all sorts of stuff in there. Right, I'm not sure I'm actually gonna be able to move here. And there's no drawstrings that's one of the slight disadvantage so i think actually in terms of being able to run with a water bottle two phones a gopro and three gels and credit cards and a car key don't forget this is going to be interesting but we'll do a little run just to see if we can okay the clock's changed tomorrow so i'll be able to do these sort of experiments too later on in the evening it's already just gone half past six and it's still light it's really been really quite warm today it's only march of course and uh, it was about 18 19 degrees i think now then can i actually run in these shorts without and falling down and how far can i go with a water bottle in <laughs> they don't feel too bad walking around actually maybe that's the thing that maybe we're walking about shoes but right watch is at the ready 
This one's just waiting to get a GPS lock. Right, let's get going, see if I can actually run. I run down to that farm, which is about 100 yards down the way and back again. <laughs> Surprisingly, not too bad. I don't think I've ever r run with a water bottle in my pocket. That's kind of fun. <laughs> you can tell I don't really plan these things. But yeah, I've got two phones in here, one GoPro, three gels, a car key and some credit cards and we can actually move. So yeah, these are the most expensive shorts that I've got. They're about 120 pounds. They look pretty hideous, don't they? So, but yeah, in terms of like, do they do the job? Then, well, yeah, they can sort of do the job. Maybe if they're a bit sort of more discreet color, then they might be better. But uh, yeah, if you're going out for a picnic, I didn't want to carry a bag, <laughs> then uh, literally, uh, this is the answer to your problems, I think. Right, how far have I gone? Well, we'll do a quarter of a mile in these shorts, then turn back. Here we go. This is the St. Swithin's Way, by the way. And that's my ring. Camera's going. I'm surprised how well you can actually run with this water bottle. <laughs> I guess as you're going along, the water would uh, drop down, wouldn't it? And you'd be slightly easier to run. That may be good over a slightly smaller bottle if you want to carry less fluid with you. But yeah, don't need a hydration vest for these shorts, for sure. I think actually more tired now holding the camera for quarter of a mile than I am from these shorts. Hamstring's not too bad. I can feel it's sort of really weak. Just a lot of muscles leading into the knee, actually. So, yeah, I've got another treatment on Thursday. So, I see if I can get myself sorted out. Right, that's enough that way. Okay, 0.3 of a mile done in these Nike Gax Q shorts. I don't know how you pronounce it. But, uh, yeah, if you want the most amount of pockets ever in shorts, I think these are the answer. I'm surprisingly you can run in them. But uh, yeah, so I hope you found this interesting. Like and subscribe and all that. Which shorts do you like for this sort of thing? Have you got any ideas to bring into the pot here? Obviously a very Nike biased here and Ron Hill with those sort of Gore ones. I don't think Gore do so many good ones anymore, but uh, interested to hear some of these Say Sky or Saw ones, which cost the arm and the leg. And uh, does anyone actually buy them? I don't know, somebody must do, mustn't they? Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Like and subscribe to all that, and see you next one. Bye. Oh, I forgot to mention with these Nike Gaiaxu shorts, if you want to put your top through the back, this is how you do it.